But for 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 Schultz said, how do you switch to a new scene and then back to the preview previous one with Streamerbot without selecting a specific one, just program knowing what was before. So they want to know how to do scene switches like this for redeem. What up, Alexa Toss? They want to do a redeem where it switches to this scene after two seconds and switches back to a scene that you're you are already on. So like no matter what scene I'm on, let's just say I'm on my reaction scene here. They want to like activate a redeem and then we'll switch to a particular scene, hold it for two seconds and then switch back to what I was already on. You guys get what I'm, you guys get what I'm doing? You guys get the problem? You guys get that? I'll also do a shout out for Alexa Toss. What up Alexa Toss? So I'm gonna show you how to do that in streamer bot. You guys ready? Come on, come on, like come on and uh, come on and learn children. Or most of you are adults, but like, you know, just working, hope you're well. Yeah, I've been watching your streams lately. What up? I won't bother you though if you're working. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is basically how it works. Basically the idea is you want to store whatever the current scene is into, they call them variables, it's a programming thing, right? Um, but basically think of it like this, right? You have a piece of, you have a piece of paper, right? This is what the program, this is what you want to do in streamer by, right? You have a piece of paper, okay? You want to write down oh, on the piece rolled. of paper what the current scene is, right? My current scene right now is called desktop, yeah? It's called desktop. You write down on a piece of paper, right? This is what the program's doing, right? And then when you switch scenes, can you not? Don't. RTX <laughs> off. Um, you want to switch to like a, write down what the current scene is. And then when you switch to a previous uh, to another scene and you want to switch back, it's going to refer to whatever you wrote on the piece of paper, right? That's basically what you're doing, right? So how do you do that in Streamerbot? So the first step is you need to get the current scene, right? So this is going to you go right click add action. And then you go OBS on. Uh get current scene. This one here, right? You need to grab it here. So that's going to like Tell Streamerbot to like, remember, whatever scene that you're already on right now, remember it, because I'm going to use it for later, right? So it's going to create this current scene variable that you can use. So if you go right-click set argument, and you don't have to do this part, but it just makes sense for readability purposes. But if you go set argument, right? You'll do set argument, and you can create whatever, use whatever variable name that you want, and you're going to set it to the value Percent current scene, capital S scene, right? So it's going to say store whatever the current scene is right now into a variable, which I have called previous scene, right? Just because that makes sense to me. Like we're going to store the current scene into a previous scene. Then we're going to do our scene change to like whatever we want to change to. So I've got a scene called multicam. So we're going to switch to like our multicam scene, which is this one. And then after two seconds, we're going to switch back to whatever scene that we were already on. You know what I mean? So like whatever we, whatever we are on, we're going to hold for two seconds. Then we're going to change the scene again to the previous scene. So here, if you want to change it to your previous scene, you can actually use that variable. So whatever that thing that we wrote in that piece of paper, we're going to put it into here. And you do that by, you always have to use the percent signs for like variables or arguments or whatever. So we called it previous scene. So you have to put in percent percent and then in between you put in whatever the variable name is that you called it, which I called previous scene. So you just, you put that in there. And so now when you run the action, if I'm on this scene and I run my action, it's gonna do it. It's gonna switch. Oh shit, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> that was the wrong one. Uh, if I switch scenes, switches to the scene. It goes back to whatever I was on. And this will work no matter what scene I'm on. So if I'm on like my just chatting scene and I do the same thing, it's gonna go into bam, and then back to the other one. Boom, done, easy. Next question. 